If you look at the journey of electric vehicles in India, it is quite unbelievable how far we have come in the last few years. Today, EVs have become an option for anyone who is planning to buy a new car and it is truly a thing that they can consider. And to increase that pool of option for you, BYD India has launched this. Yes, this right here is the BYD Seal. It's an electric four-door coupe sedan and it is probably one of the first ones in the south of 50 lakh rupees space. So today we are going to test it out and find out what this electric coupe has to offer and should you be considering this if you are looking for a premium electric car. But before we go ahead in this video, do subscribe to Car & Bike if you haven't already and do press that bell icon so you keep getting all the updates from us from the world of cars and bikes. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now up front you will find that the Seal 2 has that classic BYD signature look. Uh, but yes, this has some distinction uh, in form of its styling. Yes, it looks much sharper. You get these sleek LED headlamps with LED DRLs. You get these nice uh, wavy pattern on the lower section with the LED lighting, of course. The black, piano black elements add that sporty touch. You also have this nice muscular scoop on the bonnet that looks very nice. In fact, you can see it from the driver position as well. So that adds a lot of character to the car. Uh, you have 19 inch wheels over here. Now these are designed for EVs, so you can see them in the design. Uh, you get them with the mid-spec as well as the top end model. Uh, this is of course the mid-spec premium variant. Uh, the lower version gets an 18 inch set of alloy wheels. Uh, flush fitted door handles, adds that classy look to it. And you also have that very beautiful coupe design for the roof. Looks very premium. And this is probably the nicest looking BYD that we have seen in India so far. The roof line is nicely integrated into the tail which houses the connected LED tail lamps featuring what BYD calls water drop dot matrix lights. The seal also comes with a black rear diffuser that adds to its sporty look. While the styling might give you a feeling of compactness, the proportions are that of a proper mid-size sedan. The car is 4,800mm long, 1,875mm wide and 1,460mm tall, which makes it bigger than models like the BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine, Mercedes-Benz C-Class and the BMW i4, the only other electric sedan in this space. The seal also comes with the longest wheelbase compared to the aforementioned models and that translates to the cabin as well. As soon as you step inside the cabin, that is when you feel the level of premiumness that is being offered to you in this car. Now the seats, both for the driver and corporate driver, are quite sporty, look very sporty. You have this nice sport seat bucket style design, but they are quite comfortable. It, the cushioning is very nice. You get good thigh support and uh, also some lumbar support. Then you have ventilated as well as uh, heating function for both these seats. And one of the features that I quite liked in this car is when you start the car, you get this nice uh, droplets uh, sound and there is an acoustic guitar sound. Uh, then this large 15.6 inch display wakes up. Of course, this is like the Atto 3, you also get the function for uh, orientation. Yes, so you can change the orientation of the display and uh, make it a portrait display and or you can change it to back to a horizontal display. The interface of the infotainment screen is identical to any Android tablet all with the drop down menu, an app screen and task manager which is a quite refreshing experience. You get wireless connectivity for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. However, the one gripe I have with the screen is that it's not bright enough. It is not oriented towards the driver and under heavy sunlight it is barely legible. You have a fully digital 10.25 inch driver instrument cluster as well. Now, in addition to regular information like the speed, then uh, range and battery capacity, it also gives you the ADAS functionalities. Uh, so you have the ADAS functions buttons right here on the steering wheel on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you have the music, telephony and audio controls. Uh, in addition to that, you have two wireless phone chargers right over here and a couple of USB ports below. 
this shifter knob is also quite premium this is a crystalline design and then you have some additional buttons here to control the driving modes the volume control and the aircon vents which is of course there's a fully automatic uh, aircon system you get in this car and the one gripe that i would have is that you do not get manual controls to adjust the vents you can only control the temperature as well as the direction of the vent through this display it is a cool feature a lot of people might like it but this is something that i feel should be uh, a manual control in any car at the rear seat you get a sense of space that this car has to offer now this driver seat is set to my driving position i am 5 feet 9 inches tall and you can get an assumption as to what kind of space i get there's ample amount of knee room and leg room i'm quite comfortable right here yes uh, there could have been better under thigh support but uh, this is not bad even in long journeys you won't be very uncomfortable the cushioning of the seat is quite nice and even three average size adults can fit here without any problem you get a central armrest as well with cup holder so you have that option as well then you have two ac vents right here and a couple of usb ports down there now all three passengers get adjustable headrest and three pointed seat belts and you also have a nice glass roof on the top now this is not a sunroof this is just a panoramic glass roof but that is a very cool feature and i love that in cars However, I do have a gripe here as well. You do not get sun shades for the glass roof and you cannot adjust the level of the tint as well, which might not work for all. Having said that, the glass does get double glazing and it is UV resistant, which means you will be protected from ultraviolet rays and heat inside the car. When it comes to safety features, saying that the BYD seal is loaded will be an understatement. Standard features include 9 airbags, ABS with EBD and 360 degree view cameras with blind spot monitor. There's also front and rear parking sensors, ISOFIX, traction control, hill hold control and electronic parking brake with auto hold. The car also gets level 2 advanced driver assistance systems which include adaptive cruise control, auto braking, lane keep assist along with front and rear cross traffic alert and braking among others. So the model I'm driving today is the mid-spec premium variant of the BYD Seal uh, which comes with the bigger 82.56 kWh battery pack which is the company's Blade series of course. Now uh, this particular one Uh, sends power to the electric motor attached to the rear axle yes this is a rear wheel drive version of the seal that offers an output of 308 brake horsepower and 360 newton meter of peak torque now the BYD seal is also offered with a lower spec variant as well as a top spec variant the latter comes with the same battery pack however it uses dual motors and offers a combined output of 523 brake horsepower and 670 newton meter of peak torque and those are monstrous figure and i'm eager to get my hands on that one but we'll have to wait for that particular review as for this particular model one of its biggest usp is that this offers the most amount of range among all three options yes this offers a claim range of 650 kilometers on a single charge and that is a huge number in terms of performance the numbers do translate into action being an electric vehicle it is quick and agile uh, the power delivery is instant and that is something that i have come to like with electric cars now you get three driving modes over here eco normal and sport uh, in eco of course the energy is conserved and you get limited performance whereas in normal mode it is more relaxed and balanced and of course in the sports mode it becomes a lot more agile faster and quick in fact the 0 to 100 sprint on the BYD seal on this particular model can be done in 5.6 seconds which is good enough however the all wheel drive version does the same in 3.8 seconds and that is sports car territory as for how the car performs on the road we did get to experience different levels of terrains uh, right from the good set of tarmacs to broken roads potholes and the bad stretch as well and everywhere i felt the seal performed quite nicely the suspension setup is quite right it is spot on has the right balance to it it is neither too soft nor too stiff it can take on all the undulations and bumps on the road quite nicely and minimal harshness seeps into the cabin 
that being said with a ground clearance as low as 145 mm you will have to be a bit cautious with large speed breakers the seal also scores big in the handling department the coupe has a 50 50 weight distribution which aids in better stability and balance what that means is it feels planted not just on the straight line but also while taking corners the steering too has a nice heft to it and offer great control when you're doing triple digit speeds it's also quite responsive and reacts promptly to quick direction changes the bvd seal is offered in three variants dynamic premium and performance and all three support 7.2 kilowatt ac fast charging while the base trim can also support DC fast charging up to 110 kilowatts, the latter two have a capacity of up to 150 kilowatt. All three trims also support vehicle to load charging function. The three variants of the BYD seal are priced from 41 lakh rupees and go up to 53 lakh rupees at showroom India. And looking at all the things on offer, I feel that BYD has literally hit it out of the park in terms of pricing. Now, the closest electric sedan in competition to the BYD seal is the BMW i4 and that is over 30 lakh rupees more expensive. And even if we consider other EV crossovers in the space like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6, they too are substantially more expensive. So yes, the seal doesn't really have any rivals at the moment and that would be a good thing because the car has the space to carve out a niche for itself. In a nutshell then, the BYD seal has the looks, the performance and all the luxurious features and tech that is bound to attract any premium car buyer and a price tag that will surely seal the deal. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow enthusiasts. And if you have any comments or suggestions for us, do write them down in the comment section below. And for more such automotive content, keep following Car and Bike.